Welcome back to Woodland Frenchies, guys. We have a great video today for you. And we're gonna share with you, it's a highly requested video, we're gonna share with you uh, how to breed a French Frenchton, uh, for instance, a 50-50 and a three-quarter Frenchton, and a French Bulldog. So we're gonna do what we did kind of before with our mini Old English Bulldogs. We have, we're gonna have our French, French Bulldog Mama, our Boston Terrier Mom, and our Frenchton Mom. So we're gonna share how this kind of whole process works to get what, what kind of puppy you're looking to get when you're breeding a French Bulldog and a French Gen. So, if you're excited about this video, guys, and you're really excited to um, kind of get some really informative information in today's video, go ahead and like the video if you haven't already and subscribe to our channel, it really means a lot. So we have, again, some puppies out here and adults that we're gonna share with you. So let's start off with just kind of clarifying again what we're gonna go over. So. We have the three different type of breeds that we raise here are a 50-50 Frenchton, a three-quarter Frenchton, and a French Bulldog. So how do you get these different breeds? We're gonna talk about that and use the moms to explain how to do that. So obviously for a French Bulldog, hey, don't try to stack early, I know. You're a good mama. Uh, here we have Pebbles. She is our French Bulldog, AKC registered French Bulldog. And we breed her to a AKC registered male to make sure that we get a uh, registered French Bulldogs, such as this little one here. This here is Pippi. She is one that we're keeping back um, for a mom to raise puppies with. Hey, girly. Hey, girly. So that's pretty easy for a French Bulldog as far as understanding what um, to breed to who, and that is a French Bulldog to a French Bulldog. The tough part that people might not understand yet is a French stem. How do I raise a French stem? So here we have Lacey. She has pups right now, which are these little three right here. These are three quarter French tins that are still available. And they're gonna look more like a French Bulldog because they're a three quarter French tin. So three quarter of it is a uh, French Bulldog and a quarter of it is a Boston Terrier. And she's trying to take our bed away. <laughs> you silly little girl. This is our bed. This is our bed. Yeah. <laughs> So, so there's our 50-50 French gen. And so we're gonna breed her to a French Bulldog to make sure that we get our beautiful French gen um, puppies. And another thing that we look for is, you know, she is a blue French gen. So we wanna make sure to use a blue female in order to breed to a blue Merle or some type of Merle um, French Bulldog to have the colors that we're looking for. Like these ones here that are the nice, beautiful blue colors. It's super hard to raise French gens, especially to get the blue color. So you gotta make sure the mom's blue and uh, have really good confirmation. I mean, just look at this three quarter French thing, guys. Look how beautiful he is. I think this is uh, Legion right here. So he's on our website. So that's a three quarter French thing. Now going down, to, before you get to a three quarter French thing, you gotta first raise a 50-50 French thing. And that's what this little girl here is right here. She's a Boston Terrier. She is such a sweetheart. And we would breed her to a French Bulldog in order to raise a 50-50 French Gen, which is what this little one has here. And this is really good coloring to kind of share um, with how the puppies are gonna look. You can see this is a 50-50, and it still has the tuxedo look in a Boston. So the mama passed down that color, coat color, um, the white marks and everything in the 50-50 to in order to um, get that coloration. And then you go to the three-quarter, which we have more solid blues, right here and again that's just because of the coat colors so yeah and then you get right to the french bulldog where you can have the really unique colors yeah i go pop so hopefully that explains a little bit how to get the 50 50s the three quarter french gens and the french bulldogs uh, but here is the mom obviously we made sure to choose a blue french or blue boston in order to raise blue french gens <laughs> you guys are silly. Yeah, go girl. And she's such a good mama. So picking out the right color is definitely important as well as health and DNA. Good girl. You're just a sweetheart. So now you can see guys, if you're looking to raise fit Frenchtons, I try to find a, obviously a, a Boston Terrier that's blue or uh, try to find a Frenchton that's a 50-50 and breed back or try to find a French and that's a 50-50 and breed back to a French Bulldog. So you can get amazing puppies like we got here. 
We got the nice blue Merle and tan French Bulldogs, the nice solid blue three quarter French Dens, and the beautiful blue French Den, which is a 50 50. So, this is the lineage, kind of how you get to what you need to get That's for a French Bulldog and for a French Den, right, Pebbles? I know. I think everybody's probably just watching you and not listening to me this whole video because you're so silly. Uh, I think that's what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bigger. <laughs> and there goes, we need to have a blooper reel. Let's create some type of blooper reel. She'll be the top one there, so. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you learned the basics and understanding on the lineage to raise French tins. 50-50 and a three-quarter French gym and our French Bulldogs. So thanks guys and hope to see you in our next video.